In St. Paul's letter to the Philippians, we read, Brothers and sisters, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God. Then the peace of God that surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Then the God of peace will be with you. Such beautiful words of inspiration and encouragement in St. Paul's letter to the Philippians. To say to someone, have no anxiety at all, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, make your requests known to God. To say this is to offer to someone the most perfect way to live this journey of faith that is our life on earth. St. Paul is saying, have no anxiety, but rather live, live in humble thanksgiving to God. Live in faith and make your requests known to God. He's saying to us, let go of worry and fear. Let go of any anxiety and talk to God. Talk to God, not with anxious voice, but with thanksgiving. Because when we come to God in prayer, God will always be present to us. God will always answer the prayers of God's children. God will never ignore the voices of those who love God. However, it is so true in this life. Anxiety can build to, to such a point that at times it seems almost impossible to not be overwhelmed by it. And there are trials and difficulties in this life that can at times appear to be insurmountable we so easily become inundated with worry. We fear about the things of tomorrow. We harbor anxieties of many kinds. Our mind can so easily become filled with these thoughts. We leave no room for God to enter. We leave no room for God's divine presence to bring serenity and peace. St. Paul continues his letter to the Philippians <clears throat> by offering an alternative to any thoughts of worry and anxiety. He does not simply say, don't worry, 
stop thinking negatively and God will take care of everything. It doesn't say that. God will take care of everything. God's grace is always there for us. But we are called to cooperate with the grace of God. And St. Paul gives us a perfect way to do this when he writes, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. And the God of peace will be with you. When I think about these things, when I think about these virtues and gifts, I think of Mary. St. Paul asks, in a sense, is there anything of excellence? Is there anything worthy of praise? Is there anything that embodies that which is most true, most honorable, most gracious, most just, most pure, is there anything that is lovely and gracious that one might dwell upon, that one's mind might be emptied of the anxieties and the worries that so often rise up in this life? Do these qualities exist in this world? Yes, they do. They exist in our mother. They are all the virtues and attributes and graces that define our mother Mary. She is the mother of all virtue. She is the one who shows us the pathway to a more perfect understanding of life lived in God. She leads us all to a more excellent way. She embodies that which is most gracious, most lovely, most beautiful. She is most worthy of all praise and and if we are her children, and we are, then we bear the responsibility to also embody these virtues and gifts of grace and to bring them into this world, just as she did and as she continues to do. We empty ourselves of anxiety and worry and we make room within for the things of God with Mary who fully embodied all the things of God. We empty ourselves of all doubt, all fear of tomorrow, and we embody a more excellent way, for we walk with Mary, who understands the ways of the divine and who will lead all her children to a most excellent way of living this life on earth.
it will be the way of love, the way of truth, the way of peace, patience, and kindness. It will be a life of gentleness and grace. It will be a life of prayerful thanksgiving. For with Mary, we know that we walk the pathway that is leading us home, home where she wants all her children to be. The journey of this life is no longer filled with anxiety, but rather with faith, with hope, and above all, with love. It will be a life filled with the peace of Christ. That is Mary's desire for all her children. And so we walk then with Mary in the serenity of her beauty and in the surety of her motherly protection. We walk with her because she is and she always will be our mother of perpetual help.